All right, so we take a look at the arteries and veins of the cat. The heart is always a nice logical place to start. Coming off the top of the heart, this very whitish looking structure is actually the ascending aorta. And you can see it rapidly bends to form the aortic arch. And finally, the descending aorta, which you can see coming back behind the heart here. We can see the subclavian artery coming off of the heart here and the brachiocephalic artery coming up. If we get up in the neck region, we can nicely see the two carotid arteries on either side of the trachea. And with a little manipulation, we can make out the subclavian artery coming over to the right arm right there. Now while we're above the heart, we can also see in dark blue the superior vena cava. It branches to form the brachiocephalic veins. And if we follow the brachiocephalic vein over, we can see a subclavian vein going under the clavicle towards the arm. And here's a jugular vein curving up to go towards the head. We're now going to move down to the lower part of our cat. So I'll flip the innards out of the way so we can make out a little bit more. Right up here, we can see the descending thoracic aorta. You'll notice it's very white because of the wall thickness. We follow it down, 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 down. We're now into the descending abdominal aorta. So we've worked our way down into the lower part here. Now right here, you can see this broken red spot. That's the celiac trunk. Of course, it's broken, so it's hard to say what's what. You can see, if I get my fingers the right way, a little bit of splenic artery coming up here because it's going to the spleen, which I flipped over to the other side. But in general, it's kind of difficult to make out what is going on at this point because of what I've done to it. You can see, however, the superior mesenteric artery right here going towards the mesentery, this flap of tissue which would go out to bring blood vessels to the small intestines. And you can make out some inferior mesenteric artery right here. So there's a little bit of inferior mesenteric artery. Of course, it's broken. We go back up. This red line here going to the kidney is going to be our renal artery. And you can sort of make out a little bit of red going up above to the adrenal gland. This would be the suprarenal artery. We go back down here. We have our gonadal arteries coming out the side. And then the common iliac artery. The common iliac artery is going to become the external iliac artery and the internal iliac artery. And the external iliac artery goes on to form the femoral artery of the thigh. If we go back up and look at the veins, this big blue line here is the inferior vena cava. We can see the adrenal vein and the renal vein, or sorry, suprarenal vein and, and renal vein going over to the adrenal gland and kidneys. We follow it down, we can see the common iliac vein the external iliac vein, and it's going to go on to become the femoral vein. And I think that's pretty much what we...